Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Carlos and welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today I'll be reviewing the latest release from Burberry called Mr. Burberry Indigo. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover The original Mr. Burberry was released in 2016 as an Eau de Toilette. They released an Eau de Parfum in 2017, and this year we get the Indigo version. According to the Burberry website, this is announced as a new fragrance for a man of contrast, classic and contemporary, sophisticated and sensual, laid back with a rebellious attitude. The original was nothing groundbreaking for me, but I did enjoy it. It was a nice fragrance, nothing new in the perfume game, but for me, it was an easy breezy and very easy to wear fragrance, which I enjoyed. Didn't love, but I did like it. The Parfum, I really didn't dig too much, but this one here was a little surprising to me. We'll get to all of that in a minute. Here's the box that it comes in, a navy blue box. Here is the bottle, just like all the other ones, except this one has a blue tint to it. The cap is fashioned after the buttons on their iconic trench coats and the packaging for Mr. Burberry Indigo. Mr. Burberry Indigo was composed by Francis Kirk Dijon, who did all the other versions as well. The notes for this are lemon oil, black currant, rosemary, green violet leaf, driftwood, spearmint, amber, white oak moss, and musk. It's available in four sizes. This is a 150 ml bottle, which goes for 117. They also have a 100 ml bottle for $89, a 50 ml bottle for $69, and a 30 ml bottle for $56. I wore it to work today and I put it on at about 10.30. I got to work at 12. That's what time I was due in today. And at about one o'clock I got, mmm, Carlos, you smell good when I walk by somebody. It's one of those fragrances where the notes are really blended well together and nothing really screams out at you. The most prominent note for me really is the mint, but it's not an overdose of mint, not too mouthwashy or toothpastey. It's just very airy and spring-like. It's really, really well done, and I totally enjoyed wearing this today. It may smell like something that I've smelled before, like Aqua de Jo type of fragrance, but the mint gives it a little different twist that I really enjoyed, and the people around me enjoyed. I got several compliments today. I couldn't smell myself as well as others could, but it was jumping off my skin because people did notice it. I did my usual after lunch respritz. I felt that I needed it with this one. And again, the opening, the people love. At least three girls complimented me. I got about total four hours on skin. You have to get really close after about an hour and a half, but still, it's really nice. This is one of those that I would suggest to get the inside of the collar of your shirt and it'll definitely give a little more oomph to the fragrance. Is it groundbreaking? No. Is it nice? Yes, I do think so. I read a few reviews on Fragrantica and people were saying that it smells cheap and synthetic. It doesn't. This smells really good for what you need it for. A nice summer, easy to wear fragrance. For me, I would wear this as a signature fragrance to work. It's nice, but not too intrusive to anyone and it's very pleasant. If you weren't a fan of the original Mr. Burberry, I think you should try this one at least. The mint, as I said, gives it a different twist and it's quite enjoyable. I really do like this one. Well, that's all I have for you today on Mr. Burberry Indigo, short and sweet like I always do. I'd love to offer two five mil decants to two lucky subscribers. All you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, like and share this video, then leave one comment down below with what you enjoyed most about this review of Mr. Burberry Indigo. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. If you have been a subscriber, click on that bell icon so you don't miss notifications on new reviews, new content, giveaways, and all the fun guests always here having fragrant fun at BFL. Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Take care, and I'll see you at the next review. Today I'll be reviewing the new release from Burberry called Burberry.
The original Mr. Burberry. The original Mr. Burberry was. The original. They released an old. Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Carlos, and welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today, I'll be relieving. Laid back with a rebellious attitude. We'll see about all that. The cap is fashioned like the buttons of their iconic strip. The cap of the bottle is 